Welcome back, guys. This is update number three, or our first wash of our 30-way subscriber-requested ceramic coatings longevity test. If you've been following along, you know that we prepped this hood and installed everything a few weeks ago. Everything has had time to cure in our shop for at least a week before setting this outside. And then we placed it outside for another week before doing the first wash, since there is a product or two in here that needs a full 14 days for a complete curing process. As you can see on your screen here, our springtime heat and humidity has arrived. And while the triple digit temperatures aren't here yet, the humidity definitely is, as we have 110 degree Fahrenheit, 43 degrees Celsius heat index today as I'm washing this. Quick reminder, if there is a product you wanna see tested in the future, please let me know in the comments, but please do check the spreadsheet in the video description first to see if I haven't already tested it. I do like to test every product at least twice to ensure consistent results. If you would like to purchase any of these products, please consider doing so in the links in the video description as 100% of the money this channel makes goes right back into testing more products. Now, we'll foam this hood down using Chemical Guys Honeydew Snow Foam, rinse it, foam it again, wash it, and then of course we will rinse everything to inspect the hydrophobic properties before drying everything off. And of note, every time this hood is washed, it's rotated either 90 or 180 degrees as it's stored for the next update. So with that out of the way, let's see how things are getting on. First up, Malco Cherry Flash. It doesn't look like it's doing so great, but it is still offering some protection. Simonized Diamond Plate, looking very hydrophobic. Tech 585 Graphene, very inexpensive product, something like $25, $30, looking good. Kamikaze 2.0, extremely hydrophobic. Black Rhino Advanced, also looking very good. Proji Ceramic, maybe not quite as much. And Classy, which is a glaze or a sealant, not quite hydrophobic at all. Not to the point where we'd call it failed, but not gonna last a whole lot long. It's not gonna last long compared to some of these ceramics. Malco Epic Revive, looking all right. Nasol ZR53, okay. And Nanobond, another new batch of Nanobond. TAC Moonlight, looks very hydrophobic. Envy Evo Nova and Envy Pro, both looking very hydrophobic as well. Shine Supply Bead Beadlock Pro, not quite as much that is pretty surprising because that is not an inexpensive product i think the smaller version was about 110 dollars sonex hybrid tech wax i believe it's rated for three months still looks like it's doing all right blackfire pro black edition looks hydrophobic oberk defense gel looking kind of weak glosset diy graphene looking good Gion Pure Evo, very hydrophobic. As is Gion 1 Evo and Q2 MOHS Evo. Shouldn't be any surprises with any of those so far. Fane Lab Ceramic Light, looking good. Adams Advanced Graphene, which is a nine year coating. Flitz Ceramic Spray, looking good. Art to Shine, the next five products are Art to Shine. If someone knows how to say that, A-Y-I-C-O-N, let me know in the comments. A-Icon, Icon, let me know. I haven't heard it said. Hybrid Coat, looking good. Nano Graphene, looking good. Art to Shine, Graphene BX, and their Graphene Detailer. That's extremely hydrophobic for a Graphene Detailer, especially when it's diluted with distilled water. Black Rhino Graphics, also looking good. So I have a few sort of in line with what you would expect. The glazes, the waxes, which there's only a few on here. They're not faring as well as the ceramic coatings, the Malco, the Classy, but you have Shine Supply Beadlock, Beadlock Pro, which isn't doing that great either. So I don't know if you guys have used any of these, let me know in the comments, I'd really appreciate it. I did have a little bonus footage for you here, this, this update. You guys wanted to see sort of a uh, instead of an upright you wanted to see a horizontal just me throwing water at it and seeing how things react so you can see like tac moonlight reacts a lot differently than nanobond for example but shine supply the water's still sticking to it a little bit so i'll just i'll just sort of throw water at it here and shut up and you guys can make your own inferences here
and stay tuned for the next update. We'll be washing this hood once a month for the first month and then monthly after that. Thanks for watching. We'll see you soon. Mm -hmm.